The Fate franchise is old. And I mean old old. Talking about older than me old. Talking about older than 90% of the Fate fans old. So the Fate franchise has been around for 20 years. It just passed its 20 year anniversary uh, recently. And with that, they're going to release, uh, I mean, re release the original Fate visual novel on Steam and the Switch. Which I am considering buying and playing through it. But at the same time, I'm illiterate and can't read. <laughs> Plus, it's a visual novel that's going to take 5 billion years to finish. Now, I've actually watched Ufotable's adaptation of Fate over like a year ago, and I have mixed feelings. My watch order was this, by the way. I literally don't understand the whole mega debate with the watch order for Fate. I, I, in my opinion, I don't really see what's so important. But, but yeah, tangent aside, Fate Zero is one of the most disappointing animes for me. I came into it with pretty high expectations and wholly did not live up to it. I can see like potential in it, like with the meeting with King's episode and the Kitsurugi's backstory episode. But outside of those episodes and like Iskandar and Waver, Fade Zero was just boring to me and I often fell asleep, which if you know me, is really one of the worst things that can happen to anime. Me falling asleep, big no-no. But yeah, next was Fate Stay Night, which I actually really liked. I love Rin, she's my queen bro, <laughs> holy I'm simping in 1080p. But yeah, I, bro crazy enough, today, February uh, 2nd, the day I'm recording this, or February 3rd in Japan. It's Rin's birthday. No way. The coincidence of this is crazy. But yeah. Sorry. I just had to simp, simp about Rin real quick. <laughs> but yeah. Shiro was a way better protagonist in my opinion. And I think the character dynamics and Stay Night were just amazing. Whether it be Archer and Rin. Shiro and Rin. Or Shiro and Archer. Like Shiro and Saber. Whichever dynamic you want to include. I just really enjoyed them. But yeah. This is where I think Fate really earned its animation status. Because... In my opinion, Fate Zero didn't have the best animation. I, I oh, yeesh. holy! I'm like it took so hard for my Fate Zero hatred. Oh my, I couldn't see it. But yeah, next is Heaven's Fuel. I thought it was pretty cool. Some of the best animations and fight scenes in all of anime. But outside of that, it was mostly about the Nato family, and I just really didn't like them nor care for them that much. <laughs> now the Fate franchise expands way further than just the Ufotable anime. Such as the Fate Grand Order. <laughs> yeah, I'm trolling. But yeah. Ah, but the anime for Babylonia looks incredible though. Like the anime. Oh, it looks amazing. It looks like something I would enjoy. For no particular reason, of course. Nothing particular. Now let's get back to what this video started off with. The visual novel. Now outside of the anime adaptation, I really don't know much about the visual novel. Outside of that, Rin does heroin and that shows a wizard. The main reason I want to try out the visual novel is because I really did want to like Fate. I mean, I love the premise of like a war with people who could like summon legendary servants from the past. I really did want to find this, like I did find it super cool and interesting. And yeah, 10 off this video, I want to say happy 20 years to the Fate franchise and also that Rin's thighs. Clears your faves. <laughs>